Hey guys, I'm Anmon and I'm Graham and welcome to episode 4 of F4F News brought to you by First 4 Figures where we do a weekly recap with updates so you know what's now. up first now. Dark Magician Girl PVC from our Yu-Gi-Oh! PVC lineup and Amy Rose from our Sonic the Hedgehog Modern lineup are still available for pre-order the early bird offer runs till the following date, so snag them quickly! Yup, the early bird offer for our Arboza PVC statue has just ended and for our Oscar Knight of Astora SD PVC statue, the early bird offer ends today, 2nd of December, 4pm Hong Kong time. So if you catch this video as soon as we upload it, then you are welcome for the reminder. Also, not sure if you guys recall, but two weeks ago, the damn Studio Goblin has stolen our Yu-Gi-Oh! date for the re-release of our Amaterasu life-size bust. So, we enlisted the help of the fearsome Rumiana Rones to help us get it back for us. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you want. I don't have money. But what I do have are a very particular set of skills. Skills that I've acquired over a long career. Skills that make me a nightmare for people like you. If you let the early bird offer go now, that will be the end of it. I will not look for you. I will not pursue you. But if you don't, I will look for you. I will find you. And I'll kill you. I'm coming for you, Studio Goblin. And thanks to her, we got our early bird offer date back, guys. And we were able to announce it this week. Yep, Okami fans, a Madaratsu life-size bust will be available for pre-order with our early bird offer until the 30th of December 2022. And of course, if you want to try your, your luck and get a chance to win a statue, here is a list of all the giveaways running at the moment. Yep. They run for a whole year and don't worry, details are on our website and our Discord server. Yep, we'll also leave a link in the description so you guys can check out what giveaways are out there. Now, that is all for the recent launch updates. Let's now pass it over to Rimsha in the future and check out what's up in the club! Phew! <laughs> Welcome to What's Up in the Club. This week, our members were delivered some awesome statues. First, I'd like to say congratulations to Joseph Cruz for getting his very own Hylian Thank Shield. You. Have you checked out the latest member spotlight interview? It is always fun to read with juicy discussions and the comments. This week, we have Clud. That's his nickname, by the way. And that's the reason because I don't know how to pronounce his name. That's why I said his nickname. Apologies if it's wrong. Also, i like to show you guys this post that I came across today. It's always mesmerizing seeing this many FRF boxes tagged together. So thank you, Queen Bruder, for the support. This week, I asked the club members if one of their FRF statues came alive. What would they do? And... It was chaos. I loved all the answers. It was a great laugh. I mean, just look at these. Look. Congrats to Mohammed Own for getting his very own Ivy statue. I'm very, very sorry for the pun. She just, she looks gorgeous and she's telling me to go to the gym. 
as always. And lastly, I want you guys to see this amazing display. When I tell you I was speechless, Kevin O'Neill, you've set the bar high. And also, congratulations on finally completing your dream house. I'm very proud of you. That's right! Now, let's pass it back over to Mon Mon, who's got some juicy production updates for you. Thank you, Rim. And for this week's production updates, Alex shared some production updates with me this week, and I am, of course, super excited again to share them with you. First up, we have Crashing Cart from Crash Team Racing Nitro Fuels. Here we can see his base is being prepped. Now the rocky terrains of Crash Cove has been sculpted beautifully. And here, take a look at his shoes. They look so cute. I would totally wear them. No, I won't. I only like wearing black shoes. I totally lied. But just look at the laces and the distinct textures. Again, visual ASMR, guys. Next up, we have Chibi Teratsu versus Dark Chibi Teratsu and Possess Kuni from Okami Den. As you can see, we are well into the process of getting these done. Our team is working hard on assembly and final touches. Just have a look at these lineups of Chibi Teratsu, Dark Chibi Teratsu, and Possessed Kuni. So satisfying and so cute. And here is how they look after they've been assembled. Okami fans who pre-ordered this must be ecstatic to see these updates. Oh Alex, you are super generous this week. Don't you know you're going to cause a riot with these pictures? <laughs> Next, we have Femto from one of my favorite works, Berserk. Seeing the headless torsos really help embody the savagery of Berserk. And seeing the different parts of the statue before they get painted is always a hoot. Just check out his wings. I can't wait to see them painted. The sculpting here already looks amazing and defined. And of course, the final update for Femto is his base. Before it's painted red, it is transparent, which is similar to the re Divine Retribution from our Episode 2 update. I love how certain parts of statues look before they're given color, and you can really see how the red color would seep into the crevices, making the base look horrifying in the end. And finally, an update for our recently released famed vampire hunter, Richter Belmont from Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Now, we haven't gotten updates of his face yet, but we got updates of his swanky outfit. Here we got his stylish pants and legs in multiple baskets ready to be painted. And here, we got a bunch of his long coat. Now, it's exciting to see the process, and I'm sure fans can't wait to see him painted and assembled in the end. And who knows, if I'm lucky, I'll get some head pics. But you guys should let me know in the comments which statues you want to see updates on. I may or may not be able to pry it out of Alex's living hands, you know. <laughs> I don't know. And that is all for today. Yep. Now let's end this episode 4 with another high. I'm Rim. And I am Mon Mon. Don't forget to follow us on our social media channels at First Door Figures so you don't miss out on the next episode. F4F is love. F4F is life, and we shall see you in the next one. Bye! Bye.